Hi all, welcome back to our channel. Today in this video, it provides an insight on creating products in Odoo 15 quality module. In the Odoo quality module, you can see the overview of the team's configuration, products, quality control and reporting tab in the dashboard. We can define quality control points, product alerts, product variants and checks in this module. The quality overview dashboard depicts the count of alerts and checks of each items. The quality module provides access to the details of the product in a form. We can select the products menu in the product tab to know product quality details in the quality module. We can see the product's name, price, on hand quantity and the image on the Kanban view of the product's window. In the list view, we can see the product name, internal reference, responsible person, sales price, cost, quantity on hand, forecasted quantity and unit of measure. It is possible to add custom field here. And we can choose the customizable features like filters, group by and the favorites. To create a new product, we can click on the create icon. And here in this window, we can provide the necessary details. Here we can enter the product name. Then we can enable the options such as can be sold, can be purchased, recurring or can be rented. After allowing the can be sold and purchased option, you can see the sales and purchase tab in the product tab consisting of details regarding the product sales or purchase. The rental tab is visible by enabling the can be rented option and you can enter information regarding rental pricing or reservation. The subscription for a product can be allowed by activating the recurring option. Under the general information tab, we can specify whether it is a storable product, gift card, service, consumable, event ticket, event booth, etc. Then the invoicing can be chosen as ordered quantities and delivered quantities. It is essential to enter invoicing policy as per product type, unit of measure, sales price, including taxes, product category, cost and company name. We can also send internal notes for any purpose related to the product. In the attributes and variant tab, we can define attributes of a product like brand, color, size, dimension duration etc so here we can enter the attribute and also we can provide the values it is possible to remove the attribute and values by clicking on here and also you can see the configuring option in the sales tab we can make visible the options such as point of sale upsell and crosssell, e-commerce shop, extra product media and sales description. It helps to manage product sales. So you can add a discount from the total amount, alternative, accessory and optional product available with your ordered item inside the upsell and crosssell option. The availability, quantity, categories, website, out of stock status of the product enters the e-commerce shop section and you can send a message due to the unavailability of the product. Then we can enable the availability and category of a product under the point of sale section. So the category can be chosen from the drop down menu. Then we can click on add a media option inside the extra product media. So a new window will appear here. We can enter the name, video URL and also we can upload a picture in the extra media option window. After that click on the save and close button. And here we can enter the product description for the customers in the sales description option. We can add supplier details, delivery, price of the product below the purchase tab. Additional options like reordering assist in creating a draft purchase order and propose a call for tender. The vendor taxes option inside the vendor bills allocate taxes to the vendor bills. Control policy based on either received quantities or ordered quantities and you can type a note regarding the purchase order inside the purchase description. The inventory tab contains operations like traceability, logistics, packaging, 
description for received internal transfers and delivery orders. So you can add the routes in the operation section. Responsible person, lead time, weight and volume of the product can be entered under the logistics section. Moreover, tracking uses a unique serial number by loads and no tracking. At the end of the inventory section, we can add notes for the received internal transfers and delivery orders to know the store or pickup place of the warehouse. In the accounting tab, options like receivable, payable, interest at, automatic email at invoice, UNS PAC are visible to the user. So you can apply the income account, commodity code, expense account, email template and the country of origin under these options. We can sell or buy a product through the eBay website and enabling the sell on eBay option under the eBay tab shows the product status. It is necessary to install the eBay module to access the functions of eBay. In the eBay section, you can add the title, category, item condition, listing type, duration, fixed price and so on. Moreover, we can enter the starting price for the auction, buy it now price and activate the best op offer to get valuable offers. So you can also provide the characteristics of a particular product inside the eBay description and select the description template. After entering the details of the product, you can click on the save button. And we can see the created product in the products window. You can choose the label layout by clicking on the print labels option and a new window will appear. Here we can provide the quantity, extra content and format with labels or price and select the confirm button. And here in this window, we can see some smart apps like number of extra prices, go to website, bill of material, product moves, engineer uh, change orders and more options visible here. So we can update the quantity of a product using the update quantity tab in the product window and you can add the location, product, on hand quantity, counted quantity, difference, schedule date, user, etc. We can press on the save button to update the product quantity details. Here we can see the option to send message uh, and it assists you in sending messages to your company's follower. The log note helps to add an internal note and attach the documents for customers. The schedule activity option enables you to organize any event relating to the product and we can view the scheduled activity inside the planned activity section. It can be seen here. To create the product variants, we follow the same method of product creation. And here the create icon in this window assists in developing a new product variant. We can see the list of product variables consisting of internal reference name, variant value, sales price, cost, quantity on hand, forecasted quantity and unit of measure. Apart from the list view, here we have the campaign view and also you can see the activity view. Now let's have a look how quality points can be added on the newly created product. The quality control points helps in defining the stages in which the product needs to be checked. And the measures to check the quality of the product can also be determined from here. So to create the new control points, you can click on the create icon here in this window and provide the necessary details. Here in this field, we can provide the title of the product. Then we can select the product from the drop down menu on which the quality points must be applied. The quality points will be added to all the products which falls under the selected product category. 
then we can select the stage from the drop down menu at which the quality should be checked so here we have the received internal transfers pick delivery order return manufacturing and resupply subcontractor so here i have chosen the received and here you can see that the company name is auto allocated then here we can define if the quality check is done at the operation level or at more granular lot or serial number level then you can select the intervals for quality checking as all randomly and periodically so when we select the randomly we can mention the percentage of the operation that must be completed for quality checking and in case of periodically we can mention the frequency of days at which the quality has to be checked then we can define the type of quality control point in this field so the type can be uh, chosen as pass or fail instruction take a picture measure and worksheet so we can make use of these types while doing the quality checks for example when you have selected the pass or fail type you will have the option of pass and fail while quality checking process with this you can indicate whether the product has failed or passed the quality check then here you can select the team which will be in charge of the quality control and here the employee responsible for the quality control can be selected from this drop down menu any additional instruction that must be looked at during the quality control can be mentioned here in this text box and any messages to be provided at the time of failure can be added in this provided field at the note field we can describe why you need to perform the quality check so after completing all the required fielding new control points can click on the save icon to save the data and you can use these points to check the quality of selected products so by defining the quality control points quality checks will be automatically generated at the right logistic operation such as during transfers and manufacturing orders from the quality module you can check the details of the status of the quality checks by selecting the quality checks option from the quality control tab or you can simply click on this smart tab available here in this window so we will direct to a new window to create a new quality check so you can click on the create icon and here you can see the product that we have created now so here we can see the control per level as operation and here we can select the warehouse from where the manufactured product is processed and here we can choose the product order of the product from this drop down menu and we can select the control point of the product here then here we can see the pass or fail type and the company name and the team is auto allocated here then here we can add the notes regarding the quality check at this given field so after providing all the information you can manually choose if the product has passed or failed the quality check by selecting the pass and fail buttons so you can choose the pass here and here you can see the status that is passed it is also possible to make a alert here so we have been discussing on the topic how to create new products and assign quality points in odo 15 quality module so that's all about the video thank you for watching